Hey, what's going on guys? So I want to do a quick uh, update on the uh, case knives. I talked about this previously. I was going to send in a couple different case knives. They all had issues. There were three different knives with three different issues. And I actually got three different responses. All right, that's why I'm actually making this update video because I thought this was pretty interesting and I wanted to share it with everyone. So to recap, you're only looking at one knife here because this is the only one that's not being sent in. There was a case canoe. It was a much older model. I forget what year it's from, but uh, the back spring was broken on one of the two blades. And so the blade obviously freely just moved around. So it wasn't able to be used. Um, then I also had a case tomato knife, which the blade was just snapped off completely. So the response for the case tomato knife was, and by the way, let me back up a second. This took probably like a week or two of back and forth because the pictures I sent like weren't working and it took a couple days for them to respond and I had to give new pictures and so it kind of went back and forth but ultimately I got results on all three so if you don't know when you have a, a case product and you want to send it in for repair you basically have to you know go through a process where you're either telling them hey I want to pay for this or you're requesting that they take a look at it and they either agree or disagree that it's part of the warranty to have it covered for free right? They do have a lifetime warranty, but, you know, if they feel like there's something that shouldn't be covered, they don't have to cover it, right? It's up to them. It's to their uh, discretion. So, you know, when you want to send something back, you send the pictures of it, you explain what the problem is, and they tell you, hey, this is going to be free. It's part of the, the warranty. Or, no, it's not going to be free. Do you want to proceed? You know what I mean? They give you details on it. So the case um, tomato knife was clearly broken in half, and they agreed that that was a warranty issue that it was going to be uh, replaced. Now, as far as the case canoe, unfortunately, they're not able to repair that because it's just such an older uh, model. So here's the response that I got. It says, hey, Jeff, thank you for taking the time to uh, complete the warranty repair request form and submitting photos of your knife. A limited lifetime warranty covers all of case knives against defects and worksmanship and materials for the life of the owner. The warranty does not cover normal wear, missing parts, accidents, altering, theft, loss, misuse, neglect, fire damage, and bent or broken blade tips. So it says, our repair technicians evaluated your canoe knife. We are sorry the parts needed to repair your knife are no longer available. And, you know, keep in mind this again is probably a 20 to 30 year old knife. Uh, if the pattern has been uh, retooled, parts to fit older patterns become discontinued. When the parts are not available and the knife is covered under the case limited uh, lifetime warranty, we offer you a choice of the following. An e-gift card in the amount of $75 to use on caseknives.com, or you can just keep your knife unrepaired. So I actually thought this was very nice. So instead of like, hey, you know, there's something we do for you. It's like, well, you know, we'd love to fix the knife, but we just don't have the parts anymore. It's just too old. Um, so how about a gift card, you know, and they're you know, giving a $75 value on the knife, which I think is more than fair because the, you know, uh, a similar model is about that or less. So I thought that was really nice. So now in order to get your gift card, you do still have to actually send in the knife. This obviously prevents people from scamming them and lying and just taking pictures of broken knives online and just sending it to them, right? So that knife was packed up with the proper paperwork. You do have to have a case number and all that. Uh, to make it all legit. Plus, it's a different location than if you're just getting repairs. So if you're going through that process, they can't fix your thing. You got to get all the information, but that was already sent off as well. So, you know, stay tuned. You'll see what I eventually, you know, pick as a uh, replacement for that. Now let's talk about the third knife here. Now the third knife is uh, perfectly fine. Like it's a functional knife. There's nothing wrong with it, except it's missing the shield. All right. So that is not a huge deal at all, but you know, I'd like to get a replacement shield. So here's what they said about that. Thank you for taking the time to complete the warranty repair request form uh, and for submitting photos of your knife. And by the way, I first tried this with all three items on the same like form, whatever, it doesn't work. Each item is its own thing. It needs its own case number, its own evaluation. So that's what also kind of delayed this whole process for me. I just assumed, hey, I could throw them in the same box and the same thing, it's not. Each item from their company is treated completely different on its own. All right, so keep that in mind. If you happen to have two knives that are broken, they're just treated individually. So we will be happy to send a shield to you from, for your case knife uh, because we have over 1,500 different shields attached to various knife patterns. We'll try to send the appropriate shield that was originally attached to your knife. 
Since some shields are discontinued and are no longer available, we will contact you immediately if this is the case. Please look for a replacement shield to arrive soon along with instructions on how to attach the shield to your case knife. Should the replacement shield not fit properly, mailing a knife to, to us uh, for shield attachment may be necessary. So that's actually kind of cool to save time instead of me sending this knife in and then attaching a shield. Um, they're offering to just send me the shield. So they obviously have my contact information. I'll see how that works out and I can glue it on myself. I'm curious to see what that process is. And if it doesn't fit, then yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and send the knife in so they can get the appropriate one. Um, I would imagine, you know, just looking at pictures, some of the, uh, the you know, people in their repair department and stuff, they would know about what should fit, but you know, there's so many very slight, um, you know, differences between different models. So it's possible that what they send doesn't fit. So fingers crossed, hopefully it's just easy. I honestly don't want to bug them, to be honest. I mean, it's not the end of the world not having a shield on here. So I'd rather not have to send this in, you know, so hopefully the one they send is totally, you know, appropriate sized and I can just glue it in there and be done with it, right? So we'll see, I'll keep you posted on that. So yeah, I'll do, I'll try to keep it all together in one video, so it's not multiple videos, but you know, we'll check out the, uh, you know, the tomato knife when they send a, a replacement for that. We'll check out the shield to see if it fits on this one and we'll see what I end up uh, picking uh, to replace the canoe. Anyway, that's all. I just want to give you guys an update on this because um, I did have someone send me a message asking if they replaced anything. And because this is the first time ever getting these different responses, like I've sent stuff back to case before, knives that were clearly broken, they weren't supposed to be broken. So I've never had an issue. They never said no. They've just always said, okay, here's a, you know, your repair number and I've sent it in and they fixed it and sent it back. In one or two cases, they couldn't fix it. So they sent me a replacement, you know, something similar. It's totally fine with that. This is the first time where they basically are sending me parts to fix it myself, which honestly I have no problem with at all, as well as saying basically on the canoe, no, we can't do that, it's too old, but you know, not to leave you hanging, we'll give you a credit, you can you know, pick up whatever you want. Anyway, I just want to give you guys an update on this. I know some people were curious, uh, more so just to say like, hey, you know, if you have a broken knife from a, a major company, a knife company, reach out, see what they can do. Sometimes they can help you out, sometimes they can't. Case has always been really good about this, but this was a first for me, that they're gonna send me parts to fix this knife. Again, I have no problem with that at all, so we'll see how that works out, uh, as well as giving a credit for the other knife that they can't replace, so I thought that was actually really nice of them. So anyway, that's it, big thumbs up for WR Case and Sons. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.